Hello, welcome to the April 2021 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. My name is Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. Net general fund revenue increased $375 million for the month of April when compared to April of 2020. For the month, gross deposits of individual income tax, corporate income tax, and sales and use tax each increased by more than 35%. And combined, these three main sources of Iowa general fund tax revenue increased more than $340 million in April. Since April 2020 and April 2021 both ended and began on a weekday, the huge increase is not likely the result of any normal deposit timing issues that can occur around the beginning or the end of a month. COVID-19 has, however, played a big role in the outsized gain for the fiscal year. Last year at this time, many parts of the economy were slowed or closed due to actions to contain the spread of the virus. This year, the economic situation is returning to a more normal environment. In addition, at this time last year, federal incentive payments designed to stabilize the economy had not begun. But since May of 2020, significant federal stimulus in the form of payments to businesses through the Paycheck Protection Program, payments to farmers, and direct stimulus checks and enhanced unemployment compensation for individuals have all combined to prop up the economy over the last 12 months. Looking at the fiscal year to date, net revenue is up $749 million, or 13% through the end of April. Individual income tax and sales and use tax are both up more than 10%. While corporate income tax net deposits are up more than 50%. The significant increase in these three main general fund drivers is a little perplexing, given what we all know about the status of employment, unemployment, and business restrictions over the past 12 months. We know that travel, as well as activities and businesses that rely on face-to-face -face social interaction, were significantly curtailed for much of the time. Perhaps what the revenue situation tells us is the size of the federal response was sufficient, or perhaps more than sufficient, to replace the activity lost to COVID-19, while not on an individual basis, at least on an economy-wide basis. This year, federal individual income tax changes resulted in federal and state due dates, normally falling in April, being moved one month with federal individual income tax returns due May 17th and IRA returns due June 1st. In contrast, COVID-19 caused last year's federal and state individual income tax return due dates to be delayed until July. Because of these two delays, it is likely to be early August before the state revenue situation clears up enough to return to a normal level of revenue growth predictability. And even by that time, we will be comparing an economic time frame that has little remaining federal stimulus to a year earlier economy that was flush with federal money. Goodbye, thank you, and please check out the next monthly video memo that will be available in early June.